tutorial will show you how to make a piece of minimalist music in GarageBand. So let's start off by adding a new instrument in a blank GarageBand project. I'm going to choose a software instrument which is what we're going to use for all of our uh, tracks in this project and press create. Now on the left hand side is all the instruments you can use. I'm just going to use a piano for my first loop so I'm going to press the piano and then choose the main Steinway grand piano. Now I want to create an area where I can draw in some notes so rather than playing them in for this project I'm going to try drawing them in because it allows me a bit of control on some minimalist techniques I can use. So I am going to right click just in this blank space here next to the piano track and press create MIDI region to create a new kind of loop. Then if I double click on it at the bottom is a space for me to draw in some notes. To actually draw in the notes you need to hold down the command key on your keyboard which is the one that says CMD just to the left of the space bar and if you look at my mouse you'll see it turns it into a pencil tool. So by holding command I can draw in some notes and this is where you will create your first loop. You can see the piano keyboard on the left hand side with the notes C labelled and then going up you've got C, D, E, F, G etc. Um, the darker lines are the black notes, the lighter lines are the white notes. So you can either try composing your own melody or start off with an example. I'm going to use this example from the Bake Off theme. So here is the uh, British Bake Off theme and I'm going to choose this bit here which goes B, G, B, G, B, G, B, G. I'm going to start off with that bit and then the next half is C, G, C, G, C, G, C, G. So I'm going to try and join that in. Let's uh, find my keyboard. Let's find the note B. So here's the note C. So if I count up C, D, E, F and then we go back again a B so B there's my first note so I'm going to hold down the command key and draw the note B in the very first B to the bar just here now I'm then going to skip a square and on the next square here I'm going to draw the note G so C D E F G there we go this one here and I've skipped a note because otherwise it's going to end up being a bit too quick so this will give us a, a quaver rhythm or um, which is the rhythm we're looking for and then I just repeat B G B G Oops, I missed, so I'm just going to drag that one down. There we go. So that's my first part of my of my Bake Off theme, which was BG four times. I've just done that. Um, and then the next part, I need to add a different note in. So I'm going to extend my loop here. I'm going to click and drag from the bottom right-hand corner so it goes over another bar. There we go. That's going to appear at the end of bar two. Now I've got some more space, and I can add in my CG. So there's the note C, and then G, and I'm going to do that all the way along until the end. You'll notice that it looks really well organized. Um, if it looks organized, it sounds organized. So I've got this even spacing of all the notes and my loops start and end exactly on the bar. Let's have a listen. Lovely, so there's my first loop. Now I can repeat that, I can get it looping and repeating by going to the top right hand corner which is just here and you'll see my mouse turns into this kind of loop the loop type symbol. If I click and drag, I've now got that as a repeating pattern. And as we know, repeating patterns are very important in minimalism. Now let's make a new track. So I'm going to press the plus button. I'll just do that again because I did it quite quickly. Plus button just above the uh, piano track here. Software instrument and let's create a new track. Now you can use any instruments you like. I think I might go for an orchestral instrument next. Maybe a strings. And I'm going to try and create another ostinato pattern. So ostinato just means a looping uh, musical idea. And I'm going to create this time on the strings. So I'm going to right click and press create MIDI region again. I think I'm, and then I'm going to double click on it so I've got my notes. And then to make this one a bit different, I'm going to try and make a pattern that uses white notes, uh, that uses longer notes, sorry. Now, the reason I say white notes is because when you're composing new ostinato patterns, Lots of things are going to fit well with what you've got here, but to make sure that you're going to use notes that don't clash, we're going to stick to the white notes. So I'm not going to be using these um, these darker lines here. I'm just going to be using the lighter lines. So let's start off with a note. I think my, my last one started on B, so I could start on B, but I could start on something different. I'm going to start on D, I think, and I'm going to make a slightly longer note. Now, can you see these bar numbers along the top here or these beat numbers? It says one. 1.3 and 2 and every four lines 1 2 3 4 there's kind of like a little bit of a bigger line these are the main beats of the bar 1 2 and then 
1.3 which is labeled 1.3 and then 1.4 so having things start and end on these lines will always sound good because it will make it sound really musical so I've got mine over two beats there then let's find another note I'm going to maybe try the note E there we go and then I think I might want this to be a bit longer as well so I'm gonna extend my loop again I'm not going to do it kind of randomly here because that would be a bit weird because it doesn't quite go to the end of the bar so I'm going to make sure it goes all the way to there we go the end of bar three and then let's fill in the gap with another long note maybe I'm gonna add in the note B there we go and make that long. now let's have a listen to that I was just experimenting really let's actually have a listen and see what it sounds like because that's the most important thing here we go <laughs> I think that could work. Um, the string sound has a little bit of a slower um, fade in, so it sounds a tiny bit out of time at the moment. But when I add some other stuff, I think it'll be fine. So let's loop my string part as well. There we go. Let's add in something else. Let's add in another part on top. Now, um, mallet instruments can be quite popular in this style of music. So like a marimba or a vibraphone or a glockenspiel, they're like xylophone type instruments. Let's add a marimba. Let's make another new loop. I'm gonna right click create mini region midi region double click again to get my uh, panel down here and again I'm just going to create a short simple pattern so just like I did with the strings my string pattern used just a couple of notes three notes I'm going to do something here with my marimba this is what it sounds like there we go now I can make it higher or lower you see they've got numbers here c2 c3 c4 the higher up we go the higher the pitch so there we go, I might, I might make this one quite high. So using some of these notes up here, I'm gonna try dotting in, and I'm gonna do it a little bit randomly at first. I'm gonna try dotting in some notes. Oh, that one was very long. Let's resize it, again to the right hand side. I'm gonna try dotting in some notes on various different places, um, making sure that I only use white notes. Now, this was very random. I wasn't really thinking about that too much. Let's just see what it sounds like to see if it actually works. Here we go. I'm gonna press play. That actually sounds quite nice because my uh, regular pattern provided by my um, piano part gives a nice sort of bed for then something a little bit more random sounding to work well on top. Let's loop it and see if it sounds good as a loop. So I'm going to go to the top right hand corner of my loop here, click and drag to create a repeating pattern and let's hear the whole thing. <laughs> that's sounding pretty minimalist a nice kind of hypnotic repetitive sound let's add something else to it now I'm going to press add new track again so I'm going to go to the plus menu add a new track again software instrument and I think maybe it's time for a bit of drums so on my left hand side of the panel I'm going to use a drum kit now I think my drums are going to be inspired you could you could use orchestral type drums you could use sort of rock band type drums I think I'm going to be inspired by some of the minimalist dance music like minimal techno so I'm going to use an electronic dance uh, electronic drum kit I'm going to choose one one that's got an exciting name advanced machines that'll do again I'm going to right click create MIDI region again I'm going to double click to get my loop open now I've got the piano down the side but obviously this isn't a piano this is a drum kit so all the keys are going to have different drum kit sounds Ooh, all sorts of exciting stuff go down to C1 C1 is where the bass drum is usually on a drum kit there you go, a nice, deep, low drum uh, sound. And I'm gonna make a nice rhythmic drum part to go along with my uh, the rest of my loops. Now remember, the, the key to making this sound good is a combination of some really regular, steady things, like my Bake Off theme, and some things that are a bit more random and interesting, like my marimba. I'm gonna make this one quite a nice, steady one. So I'm gonna find my kick drum, Again, I'm going to use my uh, command key to get the pencil tool. And I'm going to draw a kick drum on every beat of the bar. That looks like this. One right at the start. Then I'm going to skip four squares to where the strong line is at beat two. Then I'm going to do it again at 1.3 just there. And then again at 1.4 just there. So they're really nice, regular, even spacing. Let's have a listen to what that sounds like. <laughs> Good, and that gives a really nice kind of dance music style pulse to complete the dance music style beat I think we should add in something else as well the snare is usually just above it on the note D so I'm going to add a snare on the second one and the fourth one there we go it's always a good idea when you're making a drum beat to start with something something uh, simple like this like a, a kind of standard beat and then you can customize it and do what you like with it so I'm going to go and then put a hi-hat in now the hi-hat is usually on the note F sharp so if you count up C D E F this black note just here 
sounds like a hi-hat and a hi-hat is that cymbal that t -t -t sound and I'm going to put one of those on every beat so I'm going to put one there one there one there one there and I'm also going to put them in the gaps in between as well not on every single one but sort of every two there we go just like that and that is a really basic dance music beat so let's have a listen to it all right there we go got something a bit dancey let's loop it top right hand corner now I've got my sort of dancey beat sounding good and when I make a drum beat I always like to start with something simple like this or something basic something standard but then you can customize it so to customize it maybe I move some stuff around a little bit maybe I go right okay actually that's gonna go here maybe I put something new in maybe let's add an extra snare drum there uh, maybe let's put an extra kick drum here see what it sounds like maybe let's take something away maybe I'm actually not gonna have that kick drum there um, and are there any other good sounds Quite like that one let's add that kind of clap type sound just here right let's have a listen to my customized beat now okay it's a little bit more interesting now i've customized it a bit but i started off with my basics so what we've gone over is setting up a, a minimalist track starting with a basic riff i use the bake-off one as an example then adding some more tracks using perhaps one with some longer note values to create a nice kind of bed for it all to sit on top of and then something which is a bit more rhythmic and almost a bit more random like my marimba track and then finally adding some drums on top to finish my track I'm going to try using some more minimalist techniques because at the moment I've got a lot of ostinato a lot of repeating patterns but one of the key features of minimalism there's some particular techniques that really make it sound minimalist so the first one I'm going to show you is going to be something called phase shifting phase shifting is when you have two different uh, when you have the two two different copies of the same idea but they sort of go out of time with each other and so one of them goes maybe a little bit longer or faster than the other and they drift out of time so I'm going to do that with my marimba I'm going to add a new track so to the plus tool again create to make a new track just under my marimba let's get the marimba sound again and then I'm going to copy this sound below so I'm going to right click copy and then paste it on oops I pasted it in the same place let's try that again right click paste there we go the reason that didn't work is I didn't have my track selected there we go selected now so now I've got two copies of the marimba they're doing the exact same thing I'm just going to solo them so we can't hear the other stuff in the track by pressing the little uh, yellow headphones button so now I can just hear the two copies of the marimba you can't really hear much because they're just exactly the same so to make phase shifting you make it so that one goes a little bit out of time and this is quite a fun way of doing it if I go to the second one here and actually resize it now I've been dragging from the top right hand corner which creates more copies but if you drag from the bottom right hand corner it makes it longer or shorter if I make it a tiny bit shorter let's say to here I'm not going to do it there because it's sort of in the middle of those two lines at the top I'm going to do it so it's on this third line right there there we go that means it's on the third beat of the bar and then I'm going to loop it from there now that looks a little bit weird because it's not now looping at the same time as everything else and it's going to be a bit shorter it's going to feel a bit like interrupted let's have a listen to it it's missing off that note at the end but what you might notice if I put it with my other one is they start exactly the same then they go out of time out of time out of time but look at this when they get to bar four you can see by the little kind of uh, the little bits showing the end of the loop just here by the time they get to bar four they're back together again let's have a little listen here is my phase shifting pattern and back together and apart again It creates some amazing rhythms as they go in and out of time with each other. Let's see what that sounds like with my whole track. Lovely. Let's do some more minimalist techniques. I'm going to take this string part and I'm going to apply something called metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is when you change something gradually. Uh, over time so I'm gonna have my string part I just got rid of the loop there because I don't want it repeating exactly I'm gonna have it repeating exactly twice like that there we go then I'm gonna make a copy by right click copy I'm gonna 
paste it again at the next bar so let's say bar five there we go and now i've got another copy of it here but it's not a loop i didn't just drag it out like this it's another version which means i can edit it and metamorphosis means each time it repeats or each time i get a copy of this i'm going to change something slightly so maybe for this one i'm going to change the last note so instead of the note b here i'm actually going to make it go up to the g there we go. So that's going to be just the other two I'm going to leave the same. Let's see what that sounds like. Here we go. And let's do something else. Let's make another copy of it. Make a copy of the new one just here. Paste it again. A little bit later on there we go I'll press paste and then this time I'm going to leave the last note but I'm going to change the this note here there we go and again I'm always using white notes when I'm doing this I'm not using any of the black notes just the white notes let's see what this new one sounds like so we'll go from the third the second one and here comes the third one happening is over my track this is just slightly and gradually changing each time so those are two great minimalist techniques that you can use and there are loads of minimalist techniques that you can choose from you can make things longer or shorter you can uh, use the phasing technique we talked about metamorphosis is gradually changing but addition means that you add uh, notes on each time so I might add a note onto the end subtraction maybe I take one away um, I'll show you one more, one more minimalist technique, which is going to be using um, augmentation and diminution. Now, they sound like very fancy words, but basically they mean either doubling or halving a tune. And I might do that with my Bake Off theme. Let's go for a new track. Here we go. I'm going to add it in a new track. Let's find a new instrument for this one, perhaps something I haven't used before. So I'm going to go to maybe like a guitar type sound. I'm going to go for an acoustic guitar sound. There we go. I'm going to take my bait off theme. So I'm going to right click copy and then I'm going to paste it onto my acoustic guitar. Now, augmentation means I'm going to make it double the length that it is already. So can you see these are currently two squares apart? I'm going to move them. So instead of two squares apart, they're actually four squares apart. I'm going to get rid of half of it. There we go. So I've got a bit of space to do this. And I'm going to go, let's just move this along a bit. There we go. So now, this is the same notes, the same idea, but they're just going half the speed they're much more spread out they're still every four squares rather than every two squares they're still regular but they're much more spread out so here's the first one that's the normal one and here's the slower version much more spread out sounds slower doesn't it let's hear them both together there we go so there's a combination of that i could do it the other way around let's quickly do it the other way around to finish i'm going to add a new track what shall I have now, I wonder? I'm going to go for a, let's see something else, orchestral perhaps. Let's get a harp, that'd be lovely. I'm going to add a harp in. I'm going to copy my Bake Off theme again, but this time I'm going to, whoops, pasted it on the wrong track. There we go, onto the harp track. This time I'm going to do diminution, which means that instead of making them twice as long, I'm going to make them really close together. There we go. So I'm going to make them just one square apart instead. It's going to make it all much quicker. It's going to be a flurry of notes. Uh, there we go. And let's do the same with these ones here. We'll just drag them along. Here we go. Takes a minute to get all these nice and lined up. And once I've done it, I've got this tiny bit of space left at the end because it's twice as fast. There's now a gap, so I'm going to resize it, make it smaller. I'm going to drag it in, but I'm not going to put it somewhere random like there. I'm going to put it right on the bar line. So bar line for number two. There we go. Let's have a listen to that on its own. Here's the Bake Off theme as it was. And here's my diminution with half the values. A lot faster. Let's hear it all together. 
there's a lot going on in my track now isn't it i've got so many different parts i've got so many different minimalist techniques all happening it sounds a bit much so the last thing that you can do to finish your track off is going to be a bit of arranging and arranging just means deciding when things start and when things finished and so you can move things around by clicking and dragging remember we're never going to put them kind of just randomly in the middle like this it's going to sound a bit odd we're going to use those bar lines so let's say for example at bar four my drums come in maybe even bar five there we go and i'm just going to spread my parts out a little bit so that they don't all happen straight away let's have my second marimba part starting here let's have my strings come in a little bit later perhaps over here i think then my augmentation and diminution can come in even later and so i've got things layering up which is another important minimalist technique gradually so that they come in one at a time layering 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 let's just make a bit more space but i also might want things to stop and drop out so for example maybe my marimba part actually stops here and the other parts continue uh maybe the bake-off original theme stops for a second we get this kind of part going for a little bit and then we want it to come back in how do i make it come back in again with my copy so i right click copy and let's have it come back in again here so I've now done a little bit of arranging uh, to show my track uh, happening gradually, but I've always got things coming in on the grid lines, not randomly in the middle, but on the grid lines. Let's have a little listen to my final track. I haven't made a very good ending at the moment, but let's see what it sounds like all together. Here we go. how it could go and I will show you one more thing which is changing the volumes you might find that you want things to actually fade in and out that can be really nice in minimalism and you can do that by pressing the letter A on your keyboard do you see what my screen just did when I press the letter A everything kind of expanded and then if I click on a track like this one here it'll create a yellow line that yellow line is the volume so if I click at different points in the bar let's say I'm going to click there and there I can then move them up and down to change uh, this cur this this kind of like straight line and that's the volume that is no volume that is louder so if I press play here then my harp sound let's hear it on its own will fade in and then could fade out again There you go. And you can just press A to get back to the normal uh, view. So A toggles between them. And there you have it. How to make your minimalist track in GarageBand. 